Hello, welcome to this video cast to subscribers to Counting Chew. Yeah, I'm just having my, uh, uh, my tea, supper, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, my gosh, I mean, catch you, I don't know. I can't, I don't know the day. Anyway, um, it's a bit more spontaneous, so I'm not really prepared, but then I don't. So, yeah, there's my food, or was. And, uh, yeah, I'm going random. I'm in a random mood. What I want to talk about is <clears throat> the naturality and why people are skeptic and how they approach ghost hunting, paranormal investigating, spirituality, the nature of reality, religion, science, mainstream science, all of that. Because I don't understand why people are sceptic. We've been so perceptively uh, manipulated for m m millennia um, to believe in that you've got to believe this God, and you've got to do everything that this God uh, wants you to do, uh, m buy this man in this frock, and if you don't, it's condemnation and hell. Or you've got mainstream science, this world's solid, it's all there is, and life's a bitch, and then you die, and that's it. We come from nothing, and we go back to nothing. Mm. It's like, yeah, that, that cheers, that really helps uh, my mental health and all other people's. Uh, so I don't understand it. And when people do this stuff, they approach it from the totally wrong angle. <clears throat> so, my advice to the world's people. Is they need to understand the nature of reality first and start with David Ice books. I'm I'm just gonna say I'm not being around the bush. I've had enough of tip tapping about anyway. Don't say this if you don't like it, people, if you don't like it, fuck off. You don't have to watch this channel. I'm a little bit on one, yeah. You can tell yeah. Not in a bad way, I'm just pumped up. Um so back to like I said, I do I'm trying to be more compassion and try to see it from their point of view. But whenever I'm a message from my dad in spirit and you know, studied studied it continued to see an ongoing thing with David Ice work, psychic mediums such as David Old, John Six Sense, Mark Smith, Ian Lawman, uh Sanding and the list goes on and on and on. And then in the ancient world what this force did because as David Ice says there has to be a common force because even being what tech form, whether they be reptilians, greys, human, they pass away, so it's this demonic consciousness, demons. You've got demons in Christianity, you've got um, the jinn in Islam and pre Islamic, you've got the Chitahore, children of the serpent in the Zulu belief, you've got um, Patiko, you've got American. Um, called in Native American, also the Flyers, uh, Archons from the Gnostic, I believe. It's because people go, Man, it's different, yeah, yes, different names, but what are they describing? What are they describing the same force? So, you know, th this is the force that's milk man's, by obviously milk man's, are shamans and reptilians and grapes, and the human form, uh, half human, half reptilian, that sort of thing. The middlemans of the shaman to get the knowledge. They know about the nature of reality, demons, ghosts, spirits, infinite consciousness, awareness, love, from the top energy to the bottom and everything in between, and all into so residual and stud tape theory, cash it record, all of this in the mix. So, the chances of me becoming a skeptic, it's about as much chance. As a baby being independent. Do you get where I'm going? Highly impossible situation because why would I lower my game? I was spiritual when I was younger. I nearly bought the crap, then I pulled away again. Like a top sportsman. So, and I ain't Mr. Perfect, I'm just, just passionate about it. I might come across as a bit big headed, but. It's me Asperger's because we got 
sessions aren't good. It's poor Asperger's. Deep down Asperger's disabilities aren't good, are they? You know, what do the chaps call me? A fat autistic cunt. Yeah, I might be a fat autistic cunt, chaps. But I'm the best fat autistic cunt you've ever seen. It's plain words, that. So, when people... Because science and spirituality were always one in the ancient world anyway. Because you've got a... Uh, Blow the two, blow the two. You've got to uh, have foot in both camps, you know, be balanced. But people look for it, and could it be this? Could it be that? Could it be? And it's very subtle. Yeah, you can get fly, things fly around the room. One of it could be mischievous spirits, but other things are uh, spontaneous telekinesis. That mainly, ninety nine point nine percent of cases, it's teenage girls. Not always, it can be. Younger girls than that, adult women, male from zero to hundred, women to hundred. You get what I mean? Keep it simple. Well, we're going to complicate a simple process, and that can cause that polygast experience. Because polygast is German for polter, noisy, guy spin girls, noisy girls. So it, 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 you've got to look at everything, and sometimes, and most of the time, though, it's suckle, because I think people. I mentioned it before, you well, quite a few times years ago, <clears throat> probably last year, it would have been. Is that you're looking at me, phone. I'm looking at a television. I'm looking at outside, moving cars occasionally, trees, a wall, like I just said. And we think this world's solid. But as about that chair that you're sitting in, in solid, how weird is that? It's this world and everything, and also made up of atoms, and atoms have no solidity. Even the most densest things put under a microscope, they vibrate. You know, in that highest consciousness, it's no vibration, all still so plus below is manifest. That's the infinite love awareness. Some say it's not consciousness. They write it as it is, I think so. It's got to be consciously aware, I don't know. But it's everything. But this world is solid, it's. One level is digital and the simulation holographic. So we're getting electrical signals like the ear picked up by the brain that turns into digital holographic information. Holographic information even. Same with the, the, the world around us. Um, so spirits in the actual magic spectrum, which is, I don't think, was being like that. I don't know if there's another earth we've talked about. It's no point, no, no, five percent. And human beings see a fraction of some say a bit more, some say a bit less, but I think it's a bit less. Less so. People are looking to see ghosts and spirits on that level. Yeah, they can come occasionally like that. But normally it's like two radio stations on the dial, a television station, an analog system. You've got the main station, you've got this interference. So you, it's not like a chest of drawers, you've got all these worlds and realities, bands, frequency, realms, what you want to call it, passing through us right now. So that's how they interact. And normally it's subtle, and you look on drawers, they're in a heartbeat, a thought away. Uh, but it does trap souls in simulation, like David has talked about. You've got to be in high enough vibration to, to get through the room past night, even if you see it. If you're in high enough vibration, you can straight through it and back, you don't even see it. Rather, you go back into the and slow possibility to manifest. But, you know, we have to be careful yeah, when we leave this reality, just say. So, all that being said, I've talked about this before. And if you go on uh, iconic.com, David Ike's talks about this in his books, his talks, and he's done a series on the nature of reality, explains it far better than me, get some day for your trial, if you like, you can stay, but no, you don't have to. So, you know, it's very hard for me, but I do understand it, and people should fake stuff as well. Shame on people that fake, they probably have no shame, claiming it to be real, like with fish and wire and things like that. So... I'm not going to mention any names just in case I'm wrong about the person, but it does happen. Uh, if you watch Now I Hope Paranormal, not them in particular, but they have found some fish and wire. And we're door slamming. I'm not saying it's Dan Duffy or Andrew Duffy, yeah, I'll come. But they had that activity, but it might not be them. Um, but what I'm saying is, if people. Well, it's not about making a believe or anything. If people are going to have an understanding or believe, God, it will. Faking it makes it harder, but it doesn't mean it's not real. I mean, yeah, looking at the stuff that it is fascinating, 
the stuff that already exists in this world. But it gets a bit boring for me personally. And now I prefer to look at the more mysterious, well, what's called mysterious out of life. Um, so that's how they interact with us on these bands of frequency. Uh, it's not always tables and chairs and stuff flying around the room, so to speak. So I think people need to come from well, the left and right brain, but it's more right brain, uh, not just the physical art, it's physical, you know, the word physical art and the heart chakra that really opens you up. We need to be balancing all these things to go into these locations and just understanding of the subject and nature of reality itself. Uh, the studies of it or so. It's only a fast bit. Don't just go in from that perspective of what we know about this reality and because it's an illusion. Delude, delusion, the illusion. Delude the illusion. So it's not just about that, like I said. It's, um, you know, I was getting a lot people want to believe I'm just saying, speaking my truth of what I understand. People need to do their own research. Don't just take it as a what David Icke says, don't take it what he says. Don't take it what I say, what David Icke says, what the BBC, CNN say. Always check it out. I'm giving out outlets to check it out. The BBC and CNN do not do that, do they? Well, very rarely anyway, so... Yeah, uh, I just think... And disbelieving people because the stories you far fetched. No, like it done to me. Um, be open minded. The Socrates said that ancient Greece. David, I could have passed on. I'm not telling you, it come through better time than I have had the feeling for it. That. But anyway, we're going to go top it. Kind of. Um, if wisdom is known, and I look with no means, you not believe everything, man's always open. It's possible that they should research it. So, always listen to people, always keep people your time. You know, it's like when children say they've seen something. Like if I were a daddy, I'd be like, okay, what you seen, darling? What you seen, uh, sweetheart? Tell, tell daddy what you seen. Daddy, my bed sort it. Not just disbelieving him. Um, and I also, I watched on Sixth Sense, be saying, advising people, I know he's proof where he's worried and it's dangerous, but yeah, it can be really mixed with it. He's up to people what they're doing, is it? And it's, why not show people to into the higher energies while I save it? I do understand this is giving out for people. I do some trying to understand it. But my advice is don't tell people to do your own six cents. So I'm advising is different, but it's what you do. Man, he, he, he has upped his game with them pre-records are fucking amazing. And people say, well, why do you get more activity with a psychic medium? Well, I've got a really good friend, Mike, Michael. I'm more like to speak to him about stuff than say, I don't know, my brother Bradley. But then I'm more like to speak to Bradley about sport than I am to Mike. Spirits are more like to think, ooh, I can talk to him. I'll talk to her, or whatever. So, John Six says to Georgia have up, up the game. And it's a nice balance because they went all on YouTube, but the live on Facebook and proof goes on YouTube, which makes sense. Um, which do you prefer as well? Because people would ask that when they go over live. Probably, my life is hard to pick, so the pre records would seem more quality, but it's probably pre records slightly. There's not much in it, as long as you keep it real, like Mark Smith used to say. Uh, it's a shame you can't do it now, but it's what it is. So, you know, always listen to people's story, that's what I'm saying. Uh, now, I don't understand the nature reality, but feel free, please do go over if you want to. The DavidI.com and Iconic.com, and you get some day for each other. You'd have to stay and watch 6 13 episodes of David Ike's The Nature of Elders series. Look at his books and his talks and what his kids are doing with Iconic. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of good stuff happening. We need to stop fighting amongst ourselves as well. Um, I'm seeing it in my family a lot with things, and it just upsets me. Like, my dad says it's a like medium. Callum was sensitive, but people don't realise that. So it was like, that message would bang on, I'm telling you. So, the lights faded fast here. I'm going to have a nice evening, I'm going to put my PJs on my pyjamas and watch the second part of the Holy Grail on iconic.com and see what's cracking off there. 
So, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I, it's a bit deep, but I've just got this feeling to get off my mind. Run the city, uh, make, why not make a video of it? Speak about what's on my mind. Voice it, because I'm getting back into things, as you can tell. I know I'm not going to save the world in five minutes. I know I'm not going to lose weight in five minutes. But if I keep doing it, uh, walking, I have another walk today. Yes, I keep my eyes open, but I think one day rest a week. I think I'm working out a plan. You know, six days a man, that's one day rest, six days. You, I'm still trying to work out the best way to do it. That's what life's about, isn't it? Uh, life's about, isn't it? Right, I am going. I'm in a really talkative mood, as you can tell. I'm under mile an hour. I'm in a really good mood as well. I worked earlier, but I am now. But that's how I am. Put on the sugar levels. But yeah. But I am working hard on my weight. Uh, and I feel fitter. I'm sure I've lost a bit because the uh, top that I go out and hang it on. It feels a bit bigger on me. So I'll just keep, I'll just keep plugging away. And anybody else is trying to lose weight. Big up. It's a good time to lose weight. I think you're trying to the gym. But we used to be a fire station man, the top. You use a day pass for 10 or a day. So when I want to go in, I just pay a tenner from the treadmill regime. So it's hit the treadmill. I'm more of a cardio type guy. But with these chaps, I, I don't like violence, but self-defense. But um, they weren't passionate, so they were thinking, didn't say a word, but they weren't all there. But I'm going off topic. But the nature of reality is important. You know, and tech combo, what I've said, oh, this will be interesting comments, won't it? <laughs> but I'm, you can, I was just, my, my passion. Like Amy on Shadowhunters TV, she's passionate, she's got a lot of ideas, that, uh, uh, some ideas to me, and she's had a bit of burnout recently, paranormal burnout, but they're up all night and doing stuff, and it catches you up, but keep going, uh, Amy, yeah, she's right down to earth, and she's funny, um, no, she's taken, I'm not going down that road, but, uh, she, more people are more positive and have a laugh. Though they are, they're, people are starting to more investigation because that shows you your I, I energy and spirits. Right, I am, I am going now. I'm going to go to the world this. Take care, everybody. All right. And, um, go back from the David Ike friend, friend the channel. See you later. Take care. Love you, love you, love you. Bye.